Hello, I'm Rob Burress. Grassroots coach Manisha Taylor. Christian Carambeau. Matt Hodgson, director of the four year plan. I'm Rob Lusher. Dave McLaughlin. Andy Copeland from the Glennet Southern Amateur League. Philip Wick, I'm CEO of 14. Former chairman of Ibis FC. Chairman of Alexandra Park FC. And you're watching. And you're watching. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. The only place to get your Monday night footballing fix. The pitch is where we eat. The pitch is where we sleep. And the pitch is where we talk. Make sure you join the revolution, the football revolution. I was asked to take the manager's job when Peter Eustace, uh, it was never really clearly defined whether he was sacked or whether he resigned. Um, my feelings were that uh, there was 28, 29 players and only three of them I knew. Uh, which would have Paul Hill, Terry Howard and Danny Carter. The rest had been signed by Eustace, so they were loyal to him. Eustace had been there for something like four or five seasons. And um, not to put too fine a point on it, basically, he made a pig's ear of it. Any money that was available, he'd spent it and wasted it. Um, never really looked like challenging for promotion. Had a couple of decent little cup runs, semi-decent cup runs. So I said to the powers that be that um, the link yeah, the, the, the only thing that's left as a link is Chris Turner, which, you know, I don't think anyone would mind me saying it because I actually sat down Chris and I was very open and honest with him about it. And I recommended a, 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 like a co-management type tenancy. Um, not, as, not as bad as, Evan, as Evans and Julio, was it? In well, terms of co-management. Well, it, it might, might have even lasted a bit longer, you know, than they did. But, um, yeah, I mean, the... Um, you know, so they, they, they said, give us your reasons. I gave him the reasons. I said, Chris has been like uh, Peter's number two. Peter Eustace's number two. He's already got a rapport and a link with the players. Yeah. Um, whereas, uh, you know, they don't know me from Adam. Um, but it's funny because I came in and I won them over initially. Mm. Because people forget in the 93-94 season, the leagues were restructured and four were going to go down. And we were something like fifth or sixth from bottom. Yeah. So to make sure we got enough points, that was when they parted company and I came in. And then in the summer, they were canvassed, the players were canvassed um, and fully endorsed my appointment. Um, it's just, I don't know if it's human nature, but um, it's funny, the same group of people that endorsed my appointment, as soon as you start to place demands on them, they go from loving you and, and liking your, your sessions and your, your many wide and varied methods and your mental stimulus that they come, come into every day not knowing what session they're going to do, uh, to all of a sudden, you know, he's a lunatic. Mm.